tafel hebben we hier de business manager van Kingston hier op Gamescom 2013. Pleased to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, for those who do not know you, go ahead and introduce yourself. So, hi, I'm Ed. I'm from Kingston Hyperx. So, my, my position in Kingston is sort of to look after the European business, sort of overviewing the uh, sort of Hyperx business specifically, and also looking after some of the events side of things. So, I help organize sort of events like Gamescom, Dreamhack, um, and these sort of local European events around. So, that's, that's what I do. Okay. So, uh, we see her a lot of uh, we see here a lot of uh, items here in front of us so what can you tell us about what we're seeing right here yeah so we've got some brand new products and some products that we released a few months ago so probably the most exciting one is the hyperx predator usb drive 3.0 so this is a one terabyte capacity so this is the first to market and it's it's astronomically fast uh, what you can see here is uh, something that we did release to CS, but we uh, we actually have the finished product now and uh, yeah. We started to ship it this month, and um, if we just get it out. It comes in a very nice sort of tin case, so you've yeah. got the extension. And um, yeah, it's, it's issue one terabyte on a USB drive, so it's, it's just a huge amount of capacity in your hand. You can carry around anywhere you want, uh, if you want to have a look. Well, visually it looks heavy, like a solid uh, block of metal, but yet it's light in the hands. Yeah. Um, uh, how, what is the data transfer of uh, this one here, the HyperX? So it's a 3.0, so it's, it's extremely quick. Very quick. And, and this month it starts shipping? So yeah, so this month we start shipping. Uh, we already have pre-orders on it already because it's that popular. And is there already a, a price tag known uh, about it? I, I can't tell you the sort of recommended retail value at the moment yeah. because we haven't actually released it to the, the yeah. retailers yet, but we're yeah. a very high quality product, so it's unique in the sense. Yeah. get one tera which is actually uh, good as a replacement for an external hard drive yeah easy to take it with you uh, in your pocket without exactly. dragging your your hard drive with exactly. you exactly okay it comes with a sort of nice keyring high brakes yeah. keyring if you can see this uh, and also a extension cable if you have like a macbook air or something yeah this might be a bit too thick so you can actually plug it in and extend well, for example option. in the back of your computer instead yeah. of tearing your computer exactly. away from the wall exactly yeah Speaking of hard drives, I see here something flashy in orange here. Well, I actually see two flashy It's orange actually yellow items. and black, but the light in this arena oh, okay, makes okay. it look orange. Uh, <laughs> yes. Yeah. So we just released these uh, a couple of weeks ago, actually, to sort yeah. of commemorate the, uh, the international, the Dota 2 tournament, um, the international tournament. So these products are, uh, we've got two kits available at the moment on the market. This is a 16 gig and an 8 gig kit, 1600 yeah. megahertz. And we've got 120 gig and 240 gig SS solid state drives. And these are special Navi edition, limited edition products to the market. We only have around 750 of the RAM in the whole of Europe. So it's, yeah. it's very unique in that sense and very so, so collectors. It's very, very limited. Uh, so only those who have it in a computer has a chance to purchase one. Exactly. Have one hell of a monster PC in their house. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the solid the drive. Um, to, to what amount do they go? The maximum capacity that you can receive and on? Because I, th I, I think know we back do. in the days you had maximum like that it was going uh, in the early ages of uh, 25, 30 uh, gigabytes. But as technology develops, you get now more and more capacity. 
Yeah, yeah, the, the transfer rates are extremely fast. I mean, you're up to 480 gig capacity now, yeah. but I think they're working on up to nearly one terabyte of capacity in the future. Already you know? to one terabyte. That's, I don't think that's that's more in work in progress, but yeah. I think there are some partners that are, are working towards that level so now. So actually, it's coming really close in the neighborhood of the traditional SATA drives who are now up to, yeah. if I'm not mistaken, two a terabyte. The only difference is it's smaller, faster, and uh, it makes less noise. Yeah, yeah extremely. It's, it's extremely light, compact, um, obviously no loose parts in the solid state drive, so it's very good for uh, moving around in your laptop or anything like that. Certainly in your laptop for people who like to carry yeah. them to LAN uh, parties, uh, carrying less weight for yeah. all the moving components then. And also if you see, I don't know if you can catch this in the system, yeah. but we have a SSD and some of the Navi RAM actually in the uh, gaming system there. Yeah. So Navi to give you an overview, is uh, one of the biggest sort of gaming teams in the world right now. And they're, they're based in the Ukraine called Natus Vincere. And they're one of the global Hybrix teams that we sponsor. So currently at the moment we sponsor around 20 gaming teams globally. SK Gaming, yeah. TV, Evil Geniuses, TSM, Snapdragon, Cloud9 Gaming. Um, so there's a real, and, and Natus Vincere, they're sort of the big, the big, big gamers. And yeah. we've got some teams in the Far East as well. So it's a real commitment we have now to esports, and we're really trying to help push that further. Yeah, I see here some awesome hardware built inside. Uh, makes me kind of wanting upgrading my PC back again for the third time. Um, see also here that the, the SATA drives built in, uh, no cables, no no wires in the way, uh, straight connection. Uh, everything actually smooth, so so making more space for the airflow. Uh, yeah. So you have more more cooling, actually less yeah. temperature of your hard drive. One of the, one of the nice features actually on the Navi RAM is the yeah. black PCB. So this is all yeah. printed black circuit boards. Yeah. So we see that a lot of gamers really want to see the black PCBs now on the module. So we've we've, we've listened to them and we've we've produced the black PCBs on a lot of our new modules: our HyperX Black, our HyperX Beast, and now the Navi edition as well. So the the HyperX, you can actually compare it to the quad core uh, series of the Intel processors, meaning that they have four cores responding faster and fluenter. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you can you can get quad or dual channel if you want. Yeah. You know, you can you can you can make it quad if you need to. It's, so it's actually, on one slot, you can get a dual uh, channel capacity. Well, and back in the days, you had to install two RAMs to receive it. So actually, two built into one. No, you still need two RAMs, I believe. Still, that, need, you still need two RAMs. You still need two RAM sticks, yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah you would, yeah. Okay. Yeah. In this model. In this model, in this model. Yeah. okay. Yeah. Now, of course, most important also for the gamers is not only the vision the and the hardware, but I also see, for example, the sound. Yeah. Certainly, like I mentioned before, on non gaming, uh, you don't want to disturb other people with your gaming. Uh, throwing them out of focus. I see here that Kingston also has there in the HyperX series a headset here, a gaming headset to be yeah, so, precise. So this is uh, something we worked with Steel Series with uh, recently and um, we've released it in Europe now. And it's basically to celebrate 10 years of HyperX. We've been around the industry for 10 years and it's sort of to show our support to the gaming and esports community. We worked with um, Incredible Miracle, SK Gaming and Navi to create this uh, headset. and. Um, Design-wise, we've gone with our sort of blue and black uh, thunder and lightning sort of design, and we've really gone for sort of sleek colors. And we knew it's that nice metallic color there. Yeah. I mean, uh, Steel Series. This design is award-winning, so we knew we were onto a really good model when we chose it. And uh, working with Steel Series has been going very well, and we really like what we've brought out here. And uh, yeah. yeah, Steel Series is uh, known in the market scene as, as shall we say the Nike and the Adidas uh, in the gaming, actually pro material yeah. that you work with. Yeah, most definitely, yeah. And, and, and this is um, really is great sound quality. It's got the removable microphone. You've got the X printed on the inside as yeah. well. And um, actually today I'm gonna give you one oh, as a present. Thank you, thank so, you. This is for you. Thank you very much. We got here the first uh, headset here from the HyperX. Thank you very much. No worries, no worries. Um, okay, you surprised me there. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to get the reaction from your face. Though. Yeah, yeah, you, you succeeded, wow. <laughs> Thank you very much. Um, trying to get back uh, on my head. Uh, I see 
you have other rams also here um, also in the hyper yeah so so we've got some hyper express around here this is uh, our highest end memory yeah so this goes up to speeds of 2600 megahertz just nice. extremely fast and extremely powerful we have the taller heat spreader for better heat dissipation so when you're overclocking your pc or you want maximum performance this really goes to that next level nice nice so it's, it's a nice bit of ram uh, yes yeah, uh, really yes uh, nice uh And the price, of course, for it. Well, uh, you you can't be any more uh, better than with with HyperX Kingston. And and the lifetime warranty, actually. And the lifetime warranty on all DRAM, all DRAM. And the lifetime warranty. I guess the other thing. Um, Obviously, we're here today because we're sort yeah. of supporting esports. So yeah. I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about um, DreamHack and, yeah. and and what we're doing with sort of esports in that sense. So this year we agreed to sponsor the DreamHack series. So we've been attending uh, DreamHack yeah. Valencia, DreamHack Summer, DreamHack Open in Sweden, yeah. and we've also got DreamHack Bucharest coming up in a couple of weeks, and then we've got DreamHack Winter again in Sweden. Okay. So, yeah. yeah. So we, we, we'll be attending there with the booth and everything. We do big giveaways each time. We, we bring in professional gamers. Yeah. And we really try and interact with the crowds and really, really, you know, support the esports scene. And um, another new announcement is the Intel Extreme Masters. It's very yeah. exciting for us. So just in the last few weeks, we signed up with Intel and um, ESL. And we're now going to be sponsoring for the next 12 months the Intel Extreme Masters Global Tour. Cool. So. For us, that's a huge Looking deal. Looking forward to giving coverage on that and bringing a report to our viewers and readers, of course, also. Thank you for this interview, for this tons of information and, and news and for this awesome headset. Uh, and I wish you fun uh, here on, on Gamescom. No worries. And we see each other again there. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, thank you very much.